what's your feeling on you know food as a training tool, um, balls, tugs, whatever it may be? How do you feel about that? Um, I feel like your dog is getting rewarded whether you want it or not, one way or another. So when somebody says, oh, I'm not rewarding him, he's just doing it because I said so. He's getting rewarded, you just don't understand it. He's getting something out of it, right? And if they're not getting something out of it, then you can see how they're doing it. It's very obvious, like I'm just forced to do this. Even when we use compulsion, that you can force any dog to do anything. Just like you can force any human to do anything, right? Like it just takes enough force and they'll do it. So, but you can see when the dog is doing it, with how they're doing it. It's like they don't want to do it, they're forced to do it, or they're just plain mediocre at doing it because they don't want to. But everything they do in the wild with us, you know, anything, they're getting something out of it. That's what we reward, right? Like there's something that they get out of it. A lot of people get caught in the wording and the vocabulary of what reward or punishment and all these things are. But just understand that your dog, when he's interacting with you, there's a give and take, one way or another. So, I, I'm for me, I'm from the mentality. I let my dog pick what's their motivator. I let them choose, right? And if I have dogs that work for food, I do believe in paying the dog from your hand forever. Like, I don't see a problem with that. Like, a lot of people say, well, am I supposed to feed him from my hand forever? I guarantee you, you give your dog treats every single day. Like, you're giving him something from your hand every day. Why not be their meals or teach them to work for something? And if it's something you don't want to forever, use food, then you can transition them, right? You try to use a toy or try to do something else or even praise, but they're always getting something. And then when you type, you factor in the reward, the variable reward system, even they didn't get paid this time, maybe they're expecting it, I'll get paid in the next one then, right? So in their head, they're still getting something out of it. So there's always something that they have to have. And for me, I apply it to myself. I don't do nothing for free, not nicely at least. And for free meaning like I don't get anything out of it. I work a lot for not getting money at all. Like we work, you know, we do a lot of uh, work for free, but I'm hanging out with my friends we get to travel to a new place. We get to do something we love all day long. So I'm still getting something out of it. It's the same with the dogs. They always have to get something out of it or otherwise you're just a totalitarian person that not many dogs and probably people would like to work for you. So it's something that you have to always make sure that they're getting something out of it, something they want and that they're happy to do it, you know, because I always ask myself this, is the dog like forced to do this? Do they have to do this? It's like, absolutely not. For example, in police work, does a dog go need to track another person? Nope. It's a good tool that we can go use to do that, but the dog is not born to go help this guy go track. He was born to do something else. He's, he's a dog, right? He's born to go walk, to do all these things. We just happen to catch a behavior that is useful to us, so we use it to help us. But the dog has to get something out of it because finding that guy doesn't get the dog nothing. Of course, they get the bite, they get all of that, but you're the one who gets something out of that, not the dog. He can just as well go bite you, a decoy, that's his friend, and he will have just as much fun, right? But the reason he went and tracked that felon and they put him in prison is for you. You know, that's not the dog's job. We are making it their job. That's not what they were born for. And a lot of people go into the tent and start, oh, these dogs were bred to do this and blah, blah, blah. Dogs are meant to be dogs. And we use them as a tool because they're good at it, right? So if the dog is being forced, he doesn't get out of it and he hates it, that's abuse. 